hello guys and welcome once again to savannah essence today we are making a beginner friendly soap with a beginner friendly recipe using just two ingredients um if you're a beginner and you are new to soap making this will be excellent for you so kindly stay tuned if you are interested in something like that okay everything in this so welcome back guys we are using just shea butter and uh, coconut oil for this particular soup it is an excellent beginner friendly recipe it might not go according to what um, advanced soup makers would recommend but if you're a beginner i think this recipe will be excellent for you now uh, it uses 50 percent shea butter 50 percent coconut oil with a five percent super fat so this is a simple ingredient the total oil badge size is 500 grams so this is a small badge for me and so it is easy for any beginner to start so to start off we are measuring our water we'll dissolve our lye in it or we'll, we'll measure our water set it aside measure our lye then dissolve it in water set it aside measure our oils if there's a need to do to to melt some you melt some of the oils you mix it with the liquid ones and then you add your your lye mixture to it and then you form a soap Okay, so that's the simple technique or the process in making soup. Beginner tip one, always make sure that you measure your water and your lye in separate containers. Do not measure your water and then you measure your lye directly inside the water. Do not do that. Never do that. Now that we are done with the lye, we are going to start measuring our oils. We are starting with, it's usually advisable to start with the hard butters or the ones that will require you to melt. So that when you measure those ones, you melt it, they will start cooling down before you start measuring the liquid ones. Okay. It's always good to, to soap under very cool temperatures and so when you melt an oil it's very hot and so it's usually advisable you let it set aside for a little bit of time so that it cools down or you refrigerate the liquid ones so that it's cooler and then when you mix it with the hot melted oils the temperature becomes room temperature and you can use that one to make your soap. So we have melted our shea butter, we are now going to add in our liquid coconut oil into this mixture. So we are done. The two basic things that you need in making your soap, your lye water and your oils are ready and now you can start the soap making process itself. So to do that you pour your lye water inside your oils. Never pour your oils inside your lye water. Always pour your lye water inside your oils or into your oils i am going to ensure that i am going to try to hand hand stir this so as a beginner if you don't have a stick blender all you need to do is to stir this and then you set it aside you go and come back and stir it every two or three minutes and then you start to see that it's thickening up i am using a sprinkle scan here for the as my soap mold instead of a normal mold again as a beginner usually when we start we do not have the resources we just want to test and see if this is something that we would want to do so i recommend you use containers in your kitchen you can use ice cream packets ice cream containers you can use your 
your bowls that are flexible and malleable that you can easily pop things out i mean use your kitchen appliances use your cereal boxes as your soup molds and if soup making is something that you would want to take up you can now buy all the fancy molds that you need or you would want it's better that way instead of buying molds and then later realizing that soup making is not really something that you are interested in so as you keep on hand stirring it you see that it starts to thicken up and so that's why people usually advise that you buy a stick blender again as a beginner you want to try and see if this is something that will work for you so you might not need to but it is recommended or advisable that you buy a stick blender this will make your process quicker and faster for you now fragrance is quite optional and i think that i would advise as a beginner to stay away from fragrance until perhaps you have made a soup like this just make one single beginner soup without fragrance and then when you're confident conversant with the process you can start adding your fragrance to it a soup without fragrance actually doesn't smell bad it smells very very great especially this coconut shea butter soup you might not necessarily need fragrance it smells like soup it smells nice okay so and this is the simple recipe i don't know what i'm doing right here <laughs> I don't know what I think I was doing there. So we've added a, a little bit of fragrance to our soap and then we are going to hand stir it. I think at a point I got fed up and I thought that and I said, you know what, let me stick blend this thing and make it faster. And so I had to stick blend it and we have reached a medium trace. A trace is when you let, when you sort of um well you can see the splashes of your or the the form that the soup makes on top of your butter so if it like if i the way i lift it you can see the lines on top of it you can see some texture on top of the soup then it you, you know that it has reached a trace and it is good enough for you to pour and so if it thickens up and it starts doing this then you know that your soap butter is ready for you to pour now another takeaway or a lesson from here is i noticed that the rubber that i used to line this soap was a bit too thick and so my advice to you is to get something lighter if you can get a banku rubber for those of you from ghana you understand what i'm talking about that is a bit more lighter this rubber is what i used to pack my shea butter and so i realized that later that it was a bit thicker again you can decide not to line the soap mold the prinkle scan or comes all already lined it has its own plastic in it so you can just pour the soap butter in it like that it will give you this nice round soap however again because this is a beginner soap recipe and um, it's good to line it with this rubber so that when you are removing it it makes it easier if not you might have to cut the can out and um, and then for big it's a bit stressful if you are starting off to use this and so make sure you line it so that it helps you to easily remove the soup so we are done and then we'll come back in 24 hours to see if our soup is ready for cuts now it's been 24 hours and my soap is ready um, it's taken up quite nicely and easy see how easy it is to remove because I've lined it it's you just pull it out and it's so easy and smooth and it comes out this way and like I did mention the rubber was a bit too thick and so it went inside the butter and created this line or this texture around it which I actually don't mind it's not a soup that I'm going to sell or gift out. I'm just trying out. So if I'm a beginner, I'm just trying out. I just want to see if this is good or it's not. And this is actually a very good solid soap. And so it really doesn't matter. And you can use that rubber to wash your dishes. <laughs> and so yes. And so ladies and gentlemen this is our simple share coconut soup simple recipe 50% share butter 50% coconut oil 
once you use the soap you can now decide based on how it feels on your skin whether to increase the coconut oil content or the shea butter content the coconut oil has lauric acid and other fatty acids in it which gives its its um laddering properties and so coconut oil makes your soap to ladder shea butter has you know steric acid palmitic acid and oleic acid in it which gives it its conditioning properties which means that it moisturizes your skin and ensures that your soap is creamy and nice so now based on these two things you decide what you want to increase in your soap the coconut oil has a tendency of drying out your skin and the shea butter has a tendency has uh, unsaponifiables in it so it has a chance of having some parts of it not saponifying in the oil in the final soap making process and so just observe this if it feels dry into your skin when you use it decrease the coconut oil content okay and then try to add other oils to this that's my advice another thing i wanted to show you was this whitish thing it's called soda ash you see it when you see it in your soap as a beginner don't worry it doesn't do anything to it in your making process if you spray alcohol rubbing alcohol on top of it it's perfect now i'm going to show you how the soap works after i have cut it and so i'm just going to and this is just day one when i cut it and then i'm going to try it and see how it how it feels how it ladders on my skin or my hand this is how it feels and so i wanted to show us this if you're a beginner this is an excellent recipe however i would advise that you now add your cocoa butter your bulb of oil and all your skin nourishing oils to make an excellent lunch in your soap soap needs to cure for a minimum of four weeks so this was just trying me to set this aside for four weeks before you can use your cell thank you very much for watching our beginner soap making tutorial see you in the next one have a blessed day